Hey everybody, Jeff Johnson, uh, creator of Weathermaker. I just wanted to demo some new snow effects that I've been working on. The first thing that you'll notice is there's lots more snowflakes. I introduced the secondary snow particle system, and that's why there's more of these random moving flakes. Um, I've got a snowstorm going right now, but what I wanted to show you is a snow full screen snow effect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on uh, in accumulation mode. So as the snow continues to come down, it's going to start accumulating. I'm going to have it accumulate relatively quickly. Over the next 30 seconds here, you'll see that this Viking village becomes a frigid, snowy Viking village. So just sit back and watch and enjoy. Once it's at 100%, I will show you some more stuff. All right, this is mostly snowed in. There's a little bit accumulating still, but for the most part, the biggest bits of it have fully accumulated. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to melt the snow. So let's turn on the side panel here, and I will turn off the snow. Let's get rid of the clouds. Let's say we want this thing to melt away. Uh, we can do that. So I've got a property that lets you actually melt the snow and this is going to melt pretty fast so just watch. Here we go. So now the snow has melted away. Uh, so basically what I've got going on, there's a snow intensity that I can slide up and down. Uh, the cool thing about this is that it takes into account the sun, so this snow is going to reflect off of the sun, nice and bright as you would expect. So you can see that sun hitting off of that snow really bright, but then as you look at the snow facing away from the sun, not as bright. And so I really think this makes your scenes pop. There's a couple of gotchas here. If you've stuck around this long, you probably want to know if there's any gotchas, and there is. I'm using the Y normal to calculate the snow, so let's watch one of these moving wheels here. You'll notice that the snow starts appearing as the wheel goes up and disappearing as it goes down, and that's just because I'm using that Y normal. So just be aware that this is a full screen effect. Very performant, but if you have moving objects or say weapons or something that are moving around you might notice a little bit of funniness and that's just part of the deal with this kind of effect at some point I may make this a material that you can just apply to a texture or a, a mesh and then you can deal with whether which materials and objects in your scene you want to actually have snow on but for my purposes this is Viking Village and there's like hundreds of models and terrain meshes and it's just a pain in the butt to assign materials to all those so that's why I was like I'm just gonna make this a full screen effect just kind of the nuclear option but it's nice and easy and it's just a stunning way to transform your scene into a wintry wasteland uh, the snow is highly configurable one of the cool options is to uh, change how the normals work so if you want the snow to be flatter you can drag this normal all the way up to one and the snow will only show up on very flat areas with a Y normal of one. You can also go the other way and turn that all the way down and just cover everything. So now every pixel everywhere has snow. So let's just say there was a monster snowstorm here and Viking Village is now completely iced over. You can do that too. Uh, so there's just different ways to do that. 
I think I set this to about 0.5. You can't see what I'm doing with the parameters, but there's this normal reducer. Uh, it's got a snow texture, um, all sorts of parameters here. You can change how the specular works. So let's get some good specular off of that sun again. You can see that we're being kind of blinded by that, but you can lower the specular or raise it to a smaller area. So the specular power can be, can be can highly configurable. You can also reduce that intensity. So if you make a really intense specular in a really small area, this is kind of what you're seeing. So it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Uh, I've got a lot of bloom going on in this, so you're seeing some of the bloom in addition to the specular highlights. So I'll go ahead and turn off the bloom just so you can kind of see what it looks like without that. So anyway, I really hope you enjoy this effect. I haven't put it on the asset store yet, but please leave me any comments and feedback. Uh, I would love to know what you think or if you want anything added. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.